Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make your own math solver on Scratch. So first of all, you'll need to make a lot of variables. Let's make a variable and let's call it first answer, first number. Sorry. Next, make another variable and call it second number. Then you want to name a variable called operator. And then you're done. Now you want to go into control and take the forever loop. And then you want to go into events and take the white and green flag. Clicked. From there you want to go into sensing and take ask what's your name and go to uh, variables and take first number and set first number. Also, you want to go into sensing and take answer. Now put the ask what's your name under the forever loop and ask what's the first number. From there, set first number to answer. Duplicate both of these blocks for what's the second number. And change the variable to second number. From here, duplicate it one more time. And say, what's the operator? From there, take set operator to answer. Now you want to go into control and take three if then set statements and one if else statement. From there, go into operators and take the equal sign and put it into each of the parts of the if statement. From there, take the plus, minus, multiply by, and divide blocks. From there, what you want to do is take the looks and say hello for two seconds. Then go into variables and take operator and put it each into each one of the blank spots. Name it one, two, three, and four. Now, if operator is 1, so let's name all these operators here. 1 is plus, 2 is minus, 3 is multiply by, and 4 is divide by. So now that we know this, we can say, if the operator is 1, then say first number, plus second number. Repeat this for each and every one, except make sure you change the operator. Now at the end where the else uh, statement is, put in stop all. This would mean that if someone tries to put five or six, it'll just stop everything. Now we can start the program. What's the first number? 99. What's the second number? 99. And what's the operator? Let's go ahead and say three because that would be a hard problem to do by yourself. Now it'll tell you the answer in 9801. If I type in something random, something random, and three, it'll give me zero. And if I type in something random, something random, and six, then it won't give me anything. Thanks guys for watching. If you like this video, leave a like and uh, make sure you subscribe for more videos like these.